Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Every year, the month of November brings with it a spirit of celebration in the quality fraternity. The pandemic has changed the world in the last two years. Slowly but surely, we are getting accustomed to the new normal. As in the previous years, with the same zeal and fervor, Systems Reliability Entity VSSE presents to you the Quality Day 2021. We at ISRO are back on track in developing new technologies as well as continuing with our past launch vehicle missions. Keeping this in mind, we celebrate this year's Quality Day with the theme, Sustainability, Improving Our Products, People and Planet. Up next, we have our invited talks by eminent experts. The first talk will be by Sri Johnny Thomas, AGM Quality at Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. I request Sri Arun Kumar Mishra, Group Director QRFG, to introduce the speaker. A very good morning to all of you. It is my pleasure and privilege to introduce our esteemed speaker, Sri Johnny Thomas, to our audience. Sri Johnny Thomas is currently Additional General Manager, Quality Assurance. LCA Tejas Division Hindustan Aeronautics Limited Bangalore Complex. He has completed his B.Tech in Production Come Plant Engineering with Honours, M.Tech in Aircraft Production Engineering from IIT Madras and MBA in Operations Management. He has worked in HAL for over 35 years in various fields like Manufacturing, Methods Engineering, project and quality. He has been the head of quality at three divisions of HAL, namely Sukhoi Engine Division, Koraport, Engine Division, Bangalore, and presently at LCA Tejas Division, Bangalore. At Engine Division, Bangalore, he was holding the additional responsibility as head of design and indigenization. He maintained NACAP approval for six categories of special processes from PRI USA as head of laboratory. And he had been the DGCA approved quality manager under CAR 145. He has also been the management representative for AS 9100 quality management system certification all along. He has undergone international leadership development training program at Institute Aeronautics at Sapatial France and IIM Ahmedabad. Training on global manufacturing best practices at Rolls-Royce UK and training on manufacturing of AL31FP Aero Engine Sukhoi 30 AC at UMPO Russia. Sir, with great pleasure and gratitude, I invite you to deliver the talk. Greetings. I'm Johnny Thomas, Heading Quality at Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, LCA Tejas Division, Bangalore Complex. It is indeed a proud privilege and honor for me to interact with the Aerospace Fraternity at Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, Tiruvannadapuram and Indian Space Research Organization on this August occasion of Quality Month 2021 and share the knowledge and wisdom on the important topics of quality and sustainability. I have been doing a lot of study of late as part of my PhD research program on subjects like strategy quality management, systems thinking in aerospace safety and system safety principles. And in the process have developed new concepts, models and methodologies in these frontier areas of knowledge and imbibed a better understanding of quality in the larger framework of strategic quality management. I would like to share with you some of these new concepts today. So the topic of today's talk is strategic quality management a systems thinking perspective for sustainability. 
an overview of the presentation is given here in this slide the presentation starts with a discussion on the evolution of quality to the present level of strategic quality management and finally ends with a deliberation on the relationship between strategic quality management and sustainability the quality function has evolved over the years from inspection mainly focused on the product to quality control quality assurance company wide quality control and then to total quality management and now has reached the evolutionary stage of strategic quality management during this transition the scope and focus of quality also got enhanced from mere product to encompass additionally the process the system the people the pdca improvement cycle and finally the risk simultaneously the role of quality function also got expanded from the small q well within the organization to the big q as joseph turan called it encompassing the organization the customer the whole of the outside world as can be seen in the model over the years the improvement in quality has been brought about by a change over from inspection and statistical process control to improved designs and concepts like quality through design integrated design and manufacturing and concurrent engineering which presently incorporates the requirements of industry 4.0 as well an important consideration missed out in the historic discourses on quality has been the self reinforcing virtuous or vicious reflexive cyclic manifestations between quality reliability risk and safety which is depicted here as a quality reliability risk safety paradigm with the help of framed in from diagram a novel variant of functional resonance analysis method developed by us in order to have a comprehensive understanding of strategic quality management and its applicability to resolve major quality related issues like enhancement of performance and safety of an airborne system there is a need to develop the necessary concepts and models with a strong theoretical foundations as part of my research i combined the concepts of total quality management and corporate strategic management to understand the requirements of strategic quality management then i read extensively on systems thinking in aerospace safety to understand the key tenets of systems thinking and examine the adequacy of the present set of system safety principles to address these key tenets based on the knowledge gap identified i have propounded the integration in totality principle as the seventh system safety principle based on systems thinking in aerospace safety the complementary nature and the commonalities of integration totality principle and strategic quality management like systems approach improvement cycles and risk based thinking facilitate the application of the new concepts for enhancement of performance and safety of aerospace systems both through quantitative analysis using predictive analytics techniques and the qualitative analysis using new methodologies based on framed in from diagram now let us discuss on the evolution of safety safety as a concept has evolved over the years from the technical era or age which started with industrial revolution to the human factors era and organizational era in the second half of the last century and finally to the era of systems thinking which is of recent origin a number of new concepts and models have also got developed accordingly in the field of aerospace safety system safety principles 
proposed by Joseph Homer Saleh in 2014 has been one of the important concepts in system safety. System safety principles are general, high level, domain independent and technologically agnostic principles adoptable as detailed safety measures for dealing with various safety hazards. There have been five system safety principles namely the fail safe principle, the safety margin principle, the ungraduated response principle, the defense in depth principle and the observability in depth principle. As part of my research, we analyzed the 15 basic tenets of systems thinking and identified five key tenets of systems thinking, which are complex and unruly technologies, nonlinear interactions and emergences, performance variability and functional resonance, functional dependencies and control feedback, and the vertical and horizontal integration in place of the traditional tenet of vertical integration. We try to link these five key systems thinking tenets to the five system safety principles and found that there is a need to add human factors principle as the sixth principle to take care of the human root causes of accidents and safety events and an integration in totality principle as the seventh system safety principle to take care of systems thinking in aerospace safety. The integration in totality principle developed as part of my research is illustrated by the Rubik's Cube model. It has three orthogonal axes. The axis of perspective with the macro, meso and micro levels corresponds to the traditional concepts or tenet of vertical integration. The axis of perception with the intent execution manifestation pathway represents the possible variances in system performance. And finally, the axis of performance of the design production operation continuum is the life cycle axis. The double arrows along the three orthogonal axes are meant to indicate the bidirectional synthesis with continuum approach along each of these axes required for effecting the necessary improvements in system performance. The understanding of quality along the micro, meso, micro levels of the axis of perspective has different connotations in different contexts. As per the epistemology propounded by Aristotle 2300 years ago, the system subsystem component levels can be understood in terms of purpose, function and physical equipment, which has been reiterated by Jens Rasmussen in his abstraction hierarchy theory. As per the design control practice diagram proposed by John Stoop, the macro, meso, micro levels could be understood as the regulatory command, the management control and the operator complaints. As per the Emery Trist systems paradigm, the levels could be micro social system, whole organization system and the primary work systems. As per the SRK framework of Rasmussen, it could be knowledge based, rule based or skill based. And finally, the macro, meso, micro levels can be understood in terms of the strategic, tactical and operational managerial hierarchies as well. Nevertheless, strategic quality management should be understood as a meta concept encompassing all these different levels and different contexts. The understanding of quality along the intent execution manifestation pathway of the axis of perception can be explained with the help of the integrative theory of strategic quality management, which has been derived from two complementary theories, namely the theory of quality delivery system, which gives the viewpoint from the production work center and the theory of evaluative judgment, which gives the viewpoint from the customer and the marketplace. As per the integrative theory of strategic quality management, 
there are five contributors to quality namely the characteristics of the work center the message of work center outputs the actual features of the product the customer's perception of the benefit and finally the overall quality perception garvin in his classic book managing quality the strategic and competitive edge suggested five approaches to quality namely the transcendent quality approach the production based quality approach the product based quality approach the user based quality approach and the value based quality approach interestingly the five approaches to quality are suggested by garvin have one to one correspondence with the five contributors to quality as per the integrative theory of strategic quality management garvin also suggested the eight dimensions of quality namely reliability conformance performance features aesthetics serviceability durability and perceived quality which in fact fit perfectly along the intent execution manifestation by directional pathway of the axis of perception the understanding of quality along the design production operation continuum of the axis of performance can be explained by means of the usefulness of the bidirectional synthesis with continuum approach along this life cycle axis vis a vis the normal unidirectional flow of information and action the bidirectional synthesis along the axis of performance can be understood in terms of the concept of cost of quality as we all know the cost of quality increases multifold as we progress along the life cycle axis by precluding the external failure of a product during the operation stage by capturing it as an internal failure during the testing stage and again avoiding the possibility of such failures through effective appraisal during the manufacturing and assembly stage and finally by obviating the defects and failures by prevention by at the stage of design stage itself we can drastically bring down the cost of quality along the reverse direction of the axis of performance by the direct bidirectional synthesis with continuum approach now let us examine how quality improvement can be brought in by means of resources and standards the uphill task of quality improvement can be achieved only by way of the plan do check act cycle through continual improvement by leveraging of the resources and consolidation of the gains by uplifting of the standards this brings us to the end of this talk the dictionary definition of sustainability is the ability to be maintained at a certain rate or level of standard and avoidance of depletion of resources to maintain ecological balance this can be achieved by zero defect and wastage in our products and services and zero effect on environment and society and this can be ensured by working towards reducing the cost of quality by means of bidirectional synthesis with continuum approach along the axis of integration totality principle and by relentless and continual quality improvement by leveraging resources and uplifting of standards that's all from me on this occasion i would like to express my deep sense of gratitude to dr antonio davis professor and director international institute for aerospace engineering and management jain dim to be university and dr mathis p samuel scientist center for military aeroworthiness and certification drdo for their unstinted guidance support and encouragement during the course of my research journey and i thank one and all for the patient listening jai hind